Hey guys, I'm back out here with my 2006 Scion XA. This is the car that's had a lot of work done to it in the last uh, two months. It's been, uh, it had a clutch that went out. I think it was just a faulty clutch um, as one of the springs in the clutch disc actually fell out. Um, so I started with taking this entire car apart replacing the clutch and flywheel and now I'm almost back together I had to take the engine almost completely out and had to remove the transmission um, tons of new parts have gone into this car just for fun for racing you know performance parts not racing um, but like got a new Optima battery because the old one was found to be um, causing damage to the body of the car uh, in the engine bay. It leaked uh, battery acid and rusted out the battery tray and part of this uh, strut tower uh, down there just a little bit. And behind this fuse box got some corrosion. Um, the the wiper tray is currently removed because I'm going to put a new strut tower bar in here or not a new one but a, a old one from my last car that got wrecked I just have to uh, fix it first it's bent a little bit the bracket is and then um, this car will be just about ready to fire up and get check and make sure everything works properly um, I know I don't have the coolants not completely full yet engine oil is good power steering needs to be hooked up yet and the reservoir filled and then bled the brakes need to be bled and the uh, slave cylinder for the clutch needs to be bled um, so basically fluids are left uh, get this battery hooked up. That's last. Um, and then the other difficult issue is uh, forgot to put a nut on here when we banged on it and it dorked up all the threads on the axle. So uh, I can't get a nut on here. So I ordered a new tap, or a die, so I can recut those threads, hopefully save it, and then get a new nut on there and tighten it properly. Um, these are just on here temporarily because I, I, I left it in the air because I didn't want to think it's finished and get in it and try to drive it away. I didn't want to have a stupid moment. Anyway, so this one's just on there loosely um, and then I'll tighten that one up when the other one when I, once I get that die and then I can cut the new one so anyway it's almost ready uh, a few more things we're almost there um, one thing I did discover is uh, with it sitting here as I've discovered over time with this car um, over the years there's uh, water gets down in in on here and just sits in here and corrodes this aluminum and the other day when it was wet I saw something interesting it looked like uh, milk drops all over this and it was just uh, the corrosion from the aluminum <laughs> looked like milk was really interesting um, anyway that water ends up sitting up here causing this sort of corrosion it sits in this back corner and it seeps down in here under this it causes a misfire cylinder one uh, I have not found a good solution for that yet but I will share it when I do find a good solution because I think every engine probably does that uh, Toyota 
one NZFE engine, I, I should say. I think it's just a flaw with these things. Um, my last car did the same thing. I have an extra engine in my garage that has the same issue. I've known other guys with XBs that have the same issue. Uh, I have not found an actual fix for it yet, so we'll see. Um, I'll share that when I figure it out, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up cleaning all this up, taking these out, cleaning it all up, fixing the seals, uh, rejuvenating them with something like super lube or something, depending on what these seals are. I think they're rubber based, I'm assuming. Um, I might even have to replace some of these because these have been uh, with various levels of water in them over the years. Um, the top of the spark plugs end up rusting uh, when water sits in there. Obviously it's not a good situation when you have water standing on top of your spark plug in the spark plug boot down there. Um, that's about enough babbling, I think. I'm going to do a little video on how to put this little PCV valve in. Um, so that's next. Signing off for now.